Hello guys and welcome to this Fade Shadow Legends video. Today I'm doing a Celestian Griffin guide. Uh, this is hard uh, floor 30. And uh, yeah, this is my team. Um, basically, Celestial Griffin, he will get faster and faster and deal more and more damage and ignore shields after some time and whatnot. So basically, it's kind of a damage race, the whole thing. So I put together this team. I will show some um, Doom Priests because he will sometimes remove his debuffs and place it on my team. Obviously, you can kind of try to manual speed tune stuff, but uh, yeah, I just kind of brute force this. My Brogni, he has um, he will place block debuffs, shield, increase attack, all the good stuff. Um, that will also reflect some damage back. That's that's good, I guess. Damage dealer, um, damage dealer with um, yeah, as you see, this is not even a speed tune. Damage dealer with decreased defense. Um, she does not have much accuracy, so probably not gonna play Sticker Stephen, we will see. Savia, some damage, uh, ally attack with uh, some buffs and whatnot. So, I think this actually has 100% win rate. It's pretty fast. So, um, yeah, this is my kind of... I just threw this together. Uh, good champions is course also um, counter-attackers like Martyr and... Uh, Skull Crusher, but then you have to, um, yeah, if you place the counter attack and if the Griffin does AoE, all your champions will attack back and that's pretty great. As you see here, you can't permanently CC this boss because if you do decrease the turn meter, then you will get stunned, as so. She has the evil eye, so she got stunned there. Increased attack, blah blah blah. So yeah, this is it's kind of a damage race. Um, yeah, and also another thing. If I fill my own turn meter, for example, uh, Bill with using a uh, arbiter, then the Griffin also gains the turn meter as well. So do not use any turn meter increase, champion. That is a no no. Yeah, so. He will get faster and faster, more crit rate, crit damage. After 10 whatever stacks or turns, so he will ignore shields, block damage, killable. He will, yeah. So basically, you have to deal a lot of damage, try to keep yourself alive. Maybe some shields, heals. Um, it doesn't really matter if one or two dies, as long as you can make it through. Uh, Doom Priest is not necessary, but it's, it helps with keeping me alive. And very importantly, do not use any turn meter boost or even increased speed. I think that also counts as uh, he taking the buffs. So, yeah, pretty fast, consistent team right here. Uh, there's no kind of speed tune, uh, yeah, ever. Uh, of course, that would help if you're struggling. But uh, yeah, in my opinion, this is the easiest boss because personally, I just threw something together and boom, I did it. While in a scarab, you need double allure or something. Um, this is a different tip, yeah. You have to basically permanent the CC or do some she strat. Vamel, holy hell, this is a crazy difficult team. I use Doom Priest, double Rask, double Bogoth to keep myself alive. Um, <laughs> look at this, turns taken. 750, yeah. There's only one of them, I think he has the water master and that's it. The other ones are not mastered, so. Bommel is crazy hard. Dark Fae is actually kind of easy, but uh, making a speed tune that works in auto, that's almost impossible, so. Yeah. So I think Celestial, Celestial Griffin is the easiest by far. Just do some damage, maybe try to have someone with the leech, like uh, Yannicka. She's so weak affinity against this one, but um, if you have someone with a leech, then uh, that helps as well, to keep your damage dealers alive, because then they will heal based on their damage. So, yeah, uh, basically just one shot, do some damage, whatever. Um, and 
try to have a couple AoE champions to deal with the waves and uh, yeah, you should, you should be fine. That's, yeah, that's my quick guide on Celestial Griffin and um, yeah, best teams, let's see here. Damage, counterattack, ninja, yeah, ninja is really good against bosses, so obviously has good hair as well. Really good here as well. Uh, let's see, global ranking is probably like five, nine turns. Look at this. So, Tranda uh, to deal with the waves, I guess. Then, um, uh, ally attacker, decrease the effect of the weekend. Bracus, he's, he's probably gonna die, and then. No, but probably he's not gonna die. But it's just a single target nuker. Then, Ninja, crazy boss, damage dealer, yeah. Crazy, crazy. So, it's not that big of a difference here as uh, compared to like the best teams here so basically just some aoe that are not single light damage none of these teams have any kind of survival build at all it looks like so yeah basically damage race the higher up you come then it's a little bit more difficult to burst him down that way but again champions like ninja that deals HP burn damage, it's really strong. Maybe some poison exploder like this to deal capture damage. Uh, cold heart is not terrible. Yeah. Well, if you use a cold heart, then uh, she will stun herself because you will try to reduce the turn meter. But then you need a Doom Priest or someone to remove the stun or something. So, yeah, I think, yeah, that's the guide. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, maybe learn something. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Goodbye.